Hey guys, it's Liv. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new kitchen. For those of you who hadn't heard me say in my podcast or in my vlogs or on my Instagram that I was moving into a house, welcome. I actually posted a kind of like moving in vlog and sneak peek of my house on my second channel in a vlog, so I will link that below and I'll link it in the top corner of this screen if you guys want to check it out. Today I have a what I eat in a day video for you. It's been kind of warm here, it's still a little bit chilly though, which is why I'm still in my big sweater, but I'm feeling kind of like cozy, but also a little bit springy meals, if that makes sense. It probably doesn't, but that is everything I have to say for now, so let's get into the video. For breakfast, I made one of my favorite breakfasts that I still haven't gotten tired of yet. So I just put some Daya plain Greek yogurt into a bowl, topped it with some fresh raspberries and green grapes and blueberries, and then I added some of the Nature's Path vanilla flax granola. And this is just so filling and fresh, and I love it for kind of like the transition from winter to summer when I don't quite want smoothies all the time yet, but I'm still craving something kind of fresher. For lunch, I wanted to make a creamy sweet potato pasta bake. So for this, you want to start by boiling some water and then cook your pasta according to package directions. Then while that's cooking, you can peel and chop a sweet potato. And I just chopped mine into kind of small cubes so that it would cook quicker. And then you just want to cover it with some water until it is just covered and boil that until it's fork tender. So while that's boiling, you can chop some veggies and you can use whatever vegetables you have in your fridge. Today I used some red bell pepper, green onion, and mushrooms. And then you just want to cook them in a frying pan with a little bit of olive oil until they're kind of browned and softened like this. Then you just want to drain your pasta and also your sweet potato and just rinse it with some cold water because we're going to blend it and it's a lot better to blend things that are cold rather than things that are steaming hot. So the sauce recipe is actually already on my blog and I will link it below of course, but you want to blend some coconut milk, tahini, cloves of garlic, nutritional yeast, salt, and lemon juice. And then you can also add in the sweet potato and blend it until it is smooth. Because everything here is really soft, you don't need a high powered blender, but if you are using a regular blender, just make sure you blend it for quite a while so that it is super, super smooth and creamy. So then you want to add the pasta and the veggies to a casserole dish. And I also added in some fresh spinach and then you can add the sauce on top. And then at the last minute, I also wanted to add some mixed herbs and some smoked paprika just for extra flavor. And then as an optional step, I topped mine with some breadcrumbs because I just love that kind of crispy, crunchy topping. And then you just want to bake that in the oven until the top is golden brown. And I actually just put the oven on broil so that it cooks the top pretty quickly. And then when it was done, I just let it sit for about five minutes and then served it up. For dinner, I was craving some chili and I kind of loosely based this on the lentil chili from my cookbook. So if you want the recipe for that, it is in my cookbook, Live Bees Vegan on a Budget. But basically you are just going to start by chopping some onion. And again, you can kind of use whatever vegetables you have on hand. Like I said earlier, I had red bell pepper and mushrooms. So that is what I used. And then I added some olive oil to a nice big pot and I fried the onions first just to make sure that they got really nice and softened and translucent before I added the other veggies. And then I cooked the red pepper and mushrooms for a few minutes as well. Then you want to add in your cans of tomatoes, your vegetable broth, and then you can also add in your lentils and your spices. Like I said, the full recipe for this is in my cookbook. So if you would like to pick that up, I'll put a link to the cookbook below. 
I also wanted to make a batch of my cornbread to go with it. And the recipe for this is on my YouTube channel. I'll link it below, of course, and in the top corner of the screen. But as a recap, you want to add your flour and cornmeal to a bowl followed by some sugar. And I used a mix of cane sugar and coconut sugar. And then you can add your salt, baking powder, and baking soda and whisk that all together. Then you want to add in your almond milk and apple cider vinegar mixture, egg replacer, and the melted butter, and stir that until it forms a batter. In my cornbread video, I baked it in a pan, but I actually wanted to make like little cornbread muffins for this. So I just lined a regular muffin tin with some parchment muffin liners. So I filled them about half to three quarters full each, and it was the perfect amount to make 12 little cornbread muffins. I baked it for a few minutes less than I normally bake um, the cornbread when I bake it in a baking pan. So um, I'll put all the info for that below. And then I actually decided to add two Beyond Meat Burger veggie patties to the chili. This looks so scarily like real beef, but I promise it's vegan. And I just kind of like fried that up and then threw it into the chili once it was done and stirred it through. And then I also added some fresh spinach at the end. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you kind of some new vegan recipe inspiration. All of the recipes will be linked below and they will be linked to my blog if you guys wanna make the meals that I made in this video. I love and appreciate you guys so much and I will see you all next week. Bye.